Ballet is for everyone, and now it's for anyone who has a computer. We're Anaheim Ballet. This is More Than Dance, Season 2. Hey guys, 10 ballet bonus points if you know what ballet this is from. Well, we get lots of comments and questions, and a lot of them are about point shoes. Next week, we're going to do a historical look at the point shoe. This week, we're offering tips and tricks. Hey, real quick, before we go on, sorry, legal stuff. Do not go on point without the permission of a qualified dance teacher. Hey, what's the big idea? I can try point shoes on and go on point right now. Oh, that was, that was not necessary. Hey, Lydia, how do you tie your point shoes? Okay, so first we are going to take one ribbon. It could be the left one or the right. And we're going to go ahead and wrap around your ankle like this. We're going to do this about like two rounds. And then we're going to take this other ribbon and we're going to wrap it across the ribbon before. And we're going to wrap it around our ankle again. Make sure it's nice and tight. And then we're going to make a knot. So, as we make our knot, you want to aim for the back of your ankle. Because, see, if you do your knot where your ankle bone is, it's going to hurt when you get up. So. We did our knot in the back of our ankle, and now we're going to tuck it in. And there you go. Cool. Here's Victoria Rose with another way of tying your Okay. Shoe. So what you do is you grab your pointy ribbons, and you hold them as if you're holding horse reins. And then you make an X, and you pull it nice and tight so that it stays secure. And then you circle it around your ankle. And the ribbon on the outside of your foot you hold it to the inside, and you take the other point ribbon, and you circle it all the way around one more time, and you make it look all pretty, and then you tie it in a nice tight knot, not on the bone, because then it will hurt your foot, but nice and secure like that. And then you tuck it in. Hey, that was great, Victoria Rose. Give me a thumbs up if you think it's okay to go over to Caitlin and show us some tips and tricks. First, I'm gonna show you about my clear band-aid trick. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna put it under, leave the little white tags on until you're off and make sure it's a clear band-aid. You're gonna stick it under like this and then you're gonna pull off the white things and pull it off and then you're gonna wrap it around and it should just stick. There's a product called Knot Keepers and they are designed to do exactly what I just showed you. So knot keepers are also very helpful. <laughs> this is an old school trick and we're gonna take a needle and a thread, that's all you need, and we're gonna sew your point shoes. You don't wanna poke yourself, so you're gonna do a loop around. And so you're gonna take it around. You don't wanna sew your ribbons to your tights. You just wanna sew your knot to your ribbons. After about five or six stitches, you wanna make a knot, and then you can just pull it out, and voila. Make sure that when you're sewing your point shoes, that the color of thread matches your ribbon. Here's a trick if your point shoe keeps slipping off your heel. You're gonna wanna take your little water bottle or you could just get some water, but it's cleaner if you have a water bottle. <laughs> that was not good. <laughs> what you're gonna wanna use is some water. What I'm using is a spray water bottle. And you can just spray it, get it kinda wet. And then don't get your point shoes wet. It could cause discoloring. And then it should just stick the tights of your skin. It just sticks. It even sticks while doing that. Wow. That's pretty impressive. Hey, guys, we hope you learned something. We hope you enjoyed this episode. This has been Anaheim Ballet More Than Dance, the world's first weekly ballet video podcast and YouTube channel. If you like this video, do us a favor, rate it and subscribe. If you want this video on your iPod, just go into iTunes in the iTunes store and search Anaheim Ballet. This video is there for free. Please subscribe. Don't just download the video. It helps us out if you subscribe. We are a not-for-profit organization. All this stuff's free, and we do appreciate it. Remember, next week, historical stuff. We'll get as many questions answered on the point shoot as we can. The next week, we start our mini-series. If you're not feeling very historical and just want to see dance. All right, back next week. Thanks so much, guys.